water lines are about three feet or so uh, off the ground. There's nowhere else for this water to go but up, and that's exactly what it's doing. We have a dangerous situation, and we've, we've lost lives in Tennessee already this weekend. Devastation. Confusion. Hopelessness. Misery. These are some of the emotions people go through after being affected by a natural disaster. On May 1st and 2nd, 2010, one of the deadliest and costliest floods occurred in Nashville, Tennessee. When you saw the interstates begin to flood and see cars floating away, you know, I knew that this was a very serious situation. The water just kept coming in, coming in, and next thing I knew it, I was walking in the water about chest high. At that point, I decided, well, you know, you better get out. Everybody, every house in this neighborhood got hit. You know, I was able to get out, but a lot of people didn't. The Opry House was flooded, and I was just horrified that this was happening to my home city. Although we went through some tough times, people across the country and around the world got a chance to see how Nashville came together. They all came together and, you know, helped out whatever needed to be done. It didn't matter of age, race, or religion. Everybody bonded together and made it all happen. It was a very, very wonderful thing to see. Folks came out in droves and they went through hundreds and hundreds of houses gutting them, removing carpet, removing debris, removing furniture. People came and removed flooring, cabinets, walls. It's a lot of things that people have done. Who did all this work? You know, it wasn't the federal government, and it wasn't the state government, it wasn't the local government. It was the people in Nashville, and that's the story of the flood. 